Leave it to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Tony Dow, and Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Soft-boiled eggs a little hard this morning. Oh. You must have gotten the beavers. He likes his hard. Wally well, likes his medium, and you like your soft. Well, how do you usually tell them apart? Eggs all look alike. Not to a mother. <laughs> yeah, you made a beautiful bird. Thanks. Where's the boys? Aren't they dressed yet? Oh, they're dressed, but beaver still has to get washed. Why doesn't he wash before he gets dressed? Well, he says if he waits until he's dressed, there's less to wash. Oh. Can you see it, Wally? Yeah, I can see all of them. But which tooth hurts? It's a lot got a tongue on. Yeah, I guess I can see it. Looks just like all the rest. When did it start hurting? Well, I think it started hurting last night when I was eating ice cream. Why didn't you tell Mom? She wouldn't let me finish my ice cream. Hey, maybe it's loose. I can't tell. Feel it and see. Ha-ha. Uh How'd -uh. that one? Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Boy, you got... Wally, what are you doing? Oh. Gee, Mom, I was just feeling Beaver's tooth. Your hands clean? Well, sure, Mom. I just got finished cleaning out the goldfish bowl. You go down and get your breakfast. I'll take care of Beaver. Okay, Mom. Does your tooth hurt? Well, sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. But this morning, it does more than it doesn't. <laughs> Let me see. It's back there. Oh, that's one of your molars. Is that the kind you don't get any more of? Yes, it is. Let me see again. It's way back there. <laughs> Hey, Dad, my egg's too soft. Yes, I know. They got switched around this morning. Uh, Beaver's got a toothache, huh? Yeah. I don't think it's too bad, though. He wasn't hollering or anything. <laughs> Our biology teacher's got a tooth about a foot long. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come out of anything's mouth. It's made out of plastic or something. It's real neat. You can take it apart and see the insides. Ward? Beaver won't be going to school. I think I better take him to the dentist. Dr. Harrison? Yes, hope you can squeeze him in. Boy, that Dr. Harrison, he's something all right. He looks in your mouth and washes his hands, and then he answers the phone and washes his hands. He's always washing his hands. Boy, I sure wouldn't want to be a dentist. <laughs> hey, Wally, I'm going to get to go to the dentist. Yeah, but Mom's making you go to school right after. Oh, hello, Larry. Hello, Mr. Cleaver. I come to walk Beaver to school. Hi, Larry. I'm not going to school today. I'm going to the dentist, because I got a toothache. No fooling? Yeah, I'm going to Dr. Harrison. Boy, you're lucky, Beaver. He gives you toys and junk. Gee, <laughs> all the time? Well, once he gave me a toothbrush, but if you tell him you got one at home, he might not. <laughs> well, I gotta be going. I'll see you, Larry. Be sure and tell all the guys. I will. So long, Beef. So long, Larry. Well, Beaver, sounds like you're looking forward to going to the dentist. Sure, Dad. Beaver, I want you to eat your breakfast, and when you finish, I want you to go upstairs and brush your teeth. Gee, Mom, why should I brush my teeth? I'm going to the dentist. <laughs> Beaver, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of Dr. Harrison. Heck yeah. Mom doesn't want your teeth making the family look crummy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, thanks for the neat army men. And thanks for only making us wait an hour before you could squeeze us in. You're very welcome, Theodore. When will the doctor let us know? 
Well, he'll check the x-rays over. We'll let you know sometime this afternoon. You may have to come in tomorrow. Oh, that's fine. It's Saturday. Beaver won't miss any more school. Well, if I come in tomorrow, will I get some more army men? Wouldn't be surprised, Theodore. Boy, if I get enough toothaches, I'll have a whole army. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. The doctor's out there for you now. It was real neat, Larry. Dr. Harrison cranked me up in the big chair, and then he took pictures of my teeth. I had x-rays taken when I hurt my hand. Boy, people are sure funny looking underneath their skin. <laughs> Did he say it was making your tooth hurt? He said I had a cavity. Oh. What's a cavity? It's something you get when you don't brush your teeth. All I get is hollered at, but I never got a cavity. <laughs> Here. I came in to get some notebook paper. Would you come in for a lumpy? I just come in. Don't call me lumpy. Gee, everybody calls you lumpy, lumpy. They're not little squirts. <laughs> hey, Beef, how did you make out at the dentist this morning? Pretty good. I got some army men, and he says I might have a cavity. Cavity, huh? When's he gonna fill it? He didn't say anything about that. He just took pictures of my teeth from the outside. Sure he did, <laughs> to see how big a hole he's gotta make. Wally, if you've got a cavity, do they really make a hole in your tooth? Ah, Beaver, it's nothing. What are you kidding him for, Wally? Beaver, you saw that drill they got hanging there? That's what they used. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, will it hurt? Of course not, Beaver. If you've got a cavity, it'll only be a small one. Sure, it'll be a small one. They'll drill a big hole just the same. Why would they do that? Well, because they get more money for filling a bigger hole, that's why. <laughs> uh... Cut it out, Lumpy. I'll see you at home, Beef. Yeah, I'll see you home, Wally. Hey, Lumpy, what did you tell him all that stuff for? Ah, uh, he knows I was just kidding him. And anyway, those squirts shouldn't call me Lumpy. My name is Clarence. <laughs> yeah, sure, Clarence. Do you think it will really hurt, Larry? I don't know. All I had was my appendix out. Didn't that hurt? No, I was asleep all the time. They gave me appendix gas. <laughs> well, I hope Plumpy's wrong. Well, I hope drilling doesn't hurt. No, it won't hurt, B. Drilling's probably nothing at all. Yeah, it's probably nothing at all. See ya, Larry. See ya, Beaver. Hi, dear. Hi. What you doing? Putting the thermometer in the roast. What's the matter? Is it sick? <laughs> you must have had a good day. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Came home early, and I'm going to throw the baseball around a little bit with the boys. Well, they should be home any minute. Well, I'll just go up and change my clothes. Oh, uh, what about the dentist? Oh, they took x-rays. He may have a slight cavity. They're going to call us. Huh. Hi, Beaver. Hi, Mom. Did they call from the dentist office yet? No, not yet. Your father's home, though. I think he's going to throw the baseball with you fellas. I don't feel like throwing the baseball, Mom. Oh, well, he can throw it with Wally. What do you feel like doing? Just sitting. Why don't you sit in here and keep me company? I feel more like sitting in the living room. <laughs> Is this the Cleaver residence? Who's calling, please? Well, this is the nurse at Dr. Harrison's office. Well, the Cleavers all went to Alaska. <laughs> yeah, we all moved away yesterday. Bye. Who was it, Beaver? Well, uh, I think it was the lady had the wrong number. Well, you talked quite a while. Well, it took me that long to find out I didn't know her. <laughs> I got it. I'll get it this time. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Cleaver. 
This is the nurse at Dr. Harrison's office. I just called, and I think I got Theodore. According to him, you're all in Alaska. <laughs> I see. Can you come in tomorrow morning at 10? Tomorrow morning? Oh, that'll be fine. Yes, we'll be there. Bye. Beaver. Alaska? Gee, Mom, I couldn't think of any fireplace. <laughs> Beaver, you were at the dentist today. There's nothing to be afraid of. But, gee, Mom, I don't want him drilling holes in my teeth. Well, it won't hurt, Beaver. Why, lots of boys every day have their teeth filled. This time there won't be any problems at all, but if you wait, there will be. The thing to do is go now when there's hardly any drilling. Don't you think that's the thing to do? I guess so. Oh, of course it is. Look, honey, I have to go finish dinner. I sure wish I was in Alaska. <laughs> Go tomorrow? Dad would yell at you. No, I mean, what would happen if I didn't get my cavity filled up? Oh. Well, the hole would keep getting bigger and bigger. And then pretty soon your tooth would rot and fall out. <laughs> hmm. What would they do then, Wally? Then they'd have to stick a false tooth in there. Gee, Wally, I'd be the only kid in the third grade with a false tooth. <laughs> yeah, but they don't fall out in a hurry. You might have a toothache for a whole year before your tooth rotted good enough to fall out. <laughs> Wally, how many hours till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? About 13. Hey, look, Beaver. Lumpy was just giving you the business. Having a tooth filled's nothing. Did you ever have one filled? Well, no. Then how do you know it's nothing? <laughs> oh, I just know it's nothing, that's all. Oh. Hey, Beef, I'm gonna go downstairs now. You want me to turn out the light? No. I think I'm going to do most of my sleeping awake tonight. Is that you, Wally? Yeah, Mom. I'm going to get a glass of milk. Beaver asleep yet? No, he's in bed, though. He told me to leave the light on so he could worry about his tooth. <laughs> June, I think the beaver's making too big a fuss about going to the dentist tomorrow. Well, he must have been pretty worried to give the nurse that story. Well, he's building it all up in his mind. He's got to learn to face things like this. The sooner he does and realizes there's nothing to it, the easier it's going to be for him the next time. Oh, I suppose you're right, dear. Ward? Mm-hmm? Would you take beaver to the dentist tomorrow? Well, I... <laughs> of course, dear. All set? I am. I don't know where the beaver is. Beaver! Oh, beaver! Dear, at the dentist, please be understanding. Well, of course I will. But at the same time, we can't baby him. He'll be right down. Everything all right? Yeah, I guess so. He locked himself in the bathroom. <laughs> Beaver, it's 20 minutes of 10. What were you doing locked in the bathroom? I was kind of saying some prayers that wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's fine, Beaver. Uh, did you finish? Not quite. Yeah, well, we're due there now. Maybe you can finish later. But, gee, Dad, it might be too late later. Ward, maybe we can make uh, June, another... June, everything will be fine. I'm sure Beaver is very happy to be getting this over with. Isn't he, Wally? Gee, I don't know, Dad. He sure doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Come on, Beaver. Bye, Mom. Bye, Beaver. So long, Wally. Take it easy, Beaver. Come on, Beaver. <laughs> Beaver seems so upset. Yeah. 
Well, Lumpy Rutherford kind of gave him the business. Gee whiz, maybe Dad shouldn't be so mean to him. Molly, your father's not mean to him. It's just too bad that the beaver's so afraid of being hurt. Yeah. Well, you know, Mom, I don't think beavers are scared of it hurting as much as he is scared of acting like it's hurting. <laughs> Dr. Frederick W. Harrison, DDS. <laughs> well, Beaver, if the doctor's name was any longer, he'd have to have two doors, wouldn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, come on now, Beaver. You just sat there all the way down here in the car. Now, snap out of it. You're getting to be a pretty big fellow now. Now, look, I know you don't want to go in there and make a big fuss and embarrass yourself in front of the nurse and everyone. Now, I know you're going to be a regular little soldier, huh? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. If I was a soldier, I'd shoot the dentist. Oh, come on, Beaver, you know... Per per oh. <clears throat> now listen, son. Well, word, old man. Oh, hi, Fred. Well, Cleaver, I see you're a member of the Saturday morning dental patrol. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Hi, Beaver. Hi, Violet. I brought Violet in for Harrison to double check. She may need braces, you know. What are you in for, Beaver? I got a hole in my cavity. They're gonna fill it up. I had two cavities once, didn't I, Daddy? Yes, sir, and went through it like a Trojan. I wasn't scared, was I, Daddy? No, sir. Well, I, uh, I, I'm sure that a little thing like this isn't going to bother the Beaver, either. Not at all. No, sir. Oh, Violet here is plucky. Just like my boy, the old bruiser. Bruiser? He means lumpy, Dad. Oh, yes, Clarence. Yes, they're all on the rugged side. Violet here won the 50-yard dash in the field day at school. I won a ribbon with my name on, but I lost it. Well, that's too bad. How did you make out in your event, son? Somebody pushed me. Fell down. Ward, you should have been there last summer when this little girl broke her leg. Oh? Not a whimper out of her. Why, when that doctor took her leg and started pulling, and the bones were grinding. Fred, please? Oh, I see the boy's a little squeamish, huh? No, I am. Oh, sorry, old man. Mr. Cleaver, I believe Theodore's next. Oh. Yeah, go right ahead. We're a little early. <laughs> oh, son, you, you want me to come with you? No, sir. You all right, boy? Yes, sir. Seems a little shaky to me, Ward. Oh, no, of course he isn't. He's not even in the chair yet. He's just a little tense. Well, would you like me to come in? No. It'll probably be better if you don't. Just a little nervous, Ward. Fine boy you've got there. Fine boy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Beaver, you've been here several times before, and I didn't hurt you, did I? No, but you never made big holes in my teeth before, so you could make more money. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, well, Lumpy Rutherford says you make big holes out of little ones so you can charge more. <laughs> You're gonna use a big drill on me, and it's just like the one they used to dig up the street. I'm not gonna let you do it. Well, I don't know what Lumpy told you, Beaver, but look here. See, it's just a tiny pinpoint cavity. Now, if we want to fill it before it gets any bigger, it couldn't possibly hurt you. And even if it could, we're very fortunate because we have some medicine here that would keep it from hurting. Uh, look, you know that box of toys the nurse has out in her office? If I hurt you, you can have every toy in that box. You mean you're going to trust me to tell you if it hurts or not? I'll trust you if you'll trust me. Lean back, Beaver. Hmm? Dr. Harrison made me beg 
give me some of that not hurting medicine anyway. No, I don't think you need it, Beaver. But it's here if you do. Dr. Harrison, hmm? what are you doing? I'm washing my hands. My brother says, that's the only thing wrong with being a dentist. <laughs> Open wide for me. There you are. You mean it's all over with? Yes. Did it hurt? No, it didn't hurt. Do I still get one toy? You certainly do. Thanks for trusting me. Thanks for trusting me. <laughs> Goodbye, Beaver. Bye, Doctor. Fine boy, Ward. Fine boy. You all right, Beaver? Sure did. Didn't hurt a bit. Oh, isn't that what we told you all along? Uh-huh. Well, then. Aren't you just a little ashamed of yourself making all that fuss in there? I guess so. You want to see the neat army men the doctor gave me? <laughs> Not right now, Beaver. We better get on home. Well, I could have had the whole box if I wanted. What's it look like, Wally? You can hardly tell which one it was. Gee, now no one will believe I had a hole in my tooth. <laughs> hey, Beaver, did you cry? Well, not while I was doing it, but I did let out a couple before he did it. Did Dad hear you? Guess everybody heard me. What did Dad say? He didn't say anything. He just looked at me. You know how he looks at you. Yeah. Well, well I wasn't going to cry. And then all of a sudden, everything just busted out. Oh, don't worry, Beave. Dad will be proud of you someday again. When, Wally? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like sometime when you save someone from drowning. Then you'll probably stop thinking you're chicken. Uh, I guess so. What's the matter, dear? You still upset about the beaver? No, I'm a little upset about Ward Cleaver. What are you upset with him about? June, I made a mistake today a lot of fathers make. I, I put so much pressure on the beaver about not disappointing me that all he could do was break down. Well, you can't expect to be the perfect father. No, I guess not. See, the thing is, you... You watch your boy growing up, and you begin to see him as the all-American boy. He's got to be the best athlete in school, make the best grades, got to have the courage of a Spartan. And every once in a while, he lets you down a little bit, and you're just one great big quivering mass of disappointment. Oh, come on. You're not one of those fathers. I don't know. I caught myself almost trying to be today. See, all a kid needs is just a little reassurance now and then that we recognize he's doing the best he can. If he knows we feel that way, he'll usually wind up doing the best he can. How are you going to tell him? I don't know. Guess I'll just wait for the right time and then try and do it in the right way. I sure hope it comes soon. Oh. Hi, Dad. Hi, Beaver. I'm brushing my teeth. Well, that's fine. Wally will be up to bed pretty soon. Okay, Dad. Um, say, Beaver, today at the dentist's office, telling you to be a little soldier and not to let me down, I'm afraid I got you all upset. Oh, that's okay, Dad. Well, I just hope you can forgive me. Gee, Dad, you'd have to do a lot worse stuff than that before I ever stopped liking you. Thank you, Beaver. You made that a lot easier than I thought it was going to be.